Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just with Mahesh. Today we will try to see a new style of interview question basically. Uh, what's wrong in this? So uh, let's look into the details of it and see how we can uh, leverage this, how we can be better prepared for any interviews. Let's get started. Uh, before we get into the actual question basically the architectural question which i wanted to show a quick shout out so i have created an account in uh, topmate.io which is really a good uh, portal where you can uh, share your knowledge uh, for a specific uh, price and uh, it's going to help definitely the others it's a very good way of uh, clearing doubts, any kind of a Q&A kind of a stuff, which is going to be good. So there are various cards which I have created if you're interested, basically look into it. So for example, which certificate suits me? So you can basically do it. Or if you want to get started, basically you can have a question, just uh, uh, create a question and I should be able to answer it basically. So coming to basically the actual question, what's wrong in this? So what I have seen recently, a uh, few of the interviews uh, which I had seen, uh, the screen sharing is going to happen and basically they are going to show an architecture and ask basically the the person the candidate what's wrong in this architecture or explain this architecture uh, what could have been done better in this architecture what's wrong in this those kind of stuff is what i have seen so i thought let's take a opportunity to basically prep uh, the folks who are going to attend into it and this is just one simple example so it could be a little complex also so we are taking going, we are going to take an official document here uh, so which is primarily on cloud composer so there are two architectures let me just open it in a, uh, a separate window so official architecture let me just take a highlighter here now what's this architecture all about so basically it is a single project called a service project uh, so we have uh, a cloud composer one two and three uh, and Cloud Composer, whenever it is created, it's going to create Kubernetes cluster. So that's going to be the first explanation. So to create a Kubernetes cluster, you need a network. So that is where you see uh, Composer VPC2 and Composer VPC2, uh, VPC1. So these two composers are sharing the same VPC. And this one is having a separate VPC. So that's what you see it. Uh, then, uh, uh, there is a peering between backend VPC and Cloud Compose, sorry, Composer VPC one. Similarly, uh, a VPC peering, VPC network peering between Composer VPC two and Backbone VPC. So that is something which you see it. And uh, basically, uh, there is a connectivity between on-prem and GCP using HA VPN. This is what you see. So that's the explanation so that the interviewer knows, okay, this person has a capability to explain an architecture. So far, so good. Now, what could have been done better is the question. Uh, so <clears throat> what's wrong in this? Basically, I'll come to the end and explain you that. So what could have been done better, which is answered in the documentation itself. Uh, shared VPC is what could have been done better. Uh, what is that shared VPC? So usually if you see uh, Cloud Composer is used by whom? Heavily by data engineers. So maybe data engineers may not be really comfortable doing some networking stuffs, right? So when you create a Kubernetes cluster, you need to have the secondary range uh, basically for your parts and services. Those things, it could be a little overkill for a data engineer. So that's where a network engineer can basically leverage, can be leveraged. So where the network engineer can create a uh, shared VPC, which is really the coolest feature which you can get in GCP. Uh, as per my understanding, this feature is not there in uh, other clouds. So people with other cloud background, if they are looking into this video, do let me know in the comment section whether shared VPC is available in other cloud. Per my understanding, no. So coming back to the topic, basically, uh, you create a, the network engineer is going to create a host project. So where they are going to have one, two, three, four, four VPCs, and they are going to basically configure the shared VPC uh, setup. And in a project, you can have up to 100 uh, host projects, right? Sorry, a uh, host net, uh, sorry, uh, my bad. Uh, you can have up to uh, 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 the network, which you can share is up to 100, basically. Uh, now, what they have done in this architecture is, uh, for each composer, they have a dedicated uh, VPC uh, and the respective subnetwork shared. So composer two shared VPC, uh, sorry, 
composer shared VPC2. So like that, they have done for everything. Good. Now, they also have uh, basically um, the peering, the VPC network peering. So this is uh, VPC uh, network peering, which they are doing, which is good, right? So, um, and they're doing explicitly and it has to be done explicitly. So this arrow, this arrow, these are all perfect. So this arrow, this arrow, this is all perfect. Beautiful. So far, so good. Uh, this is the enhancement which could have been done. So have two pro uh, have basically two projects, service project and host project. So previously it was only one single project. So that's a good enhancement. Now, what is the final piece? What, what is wrong in this architecture, which is really the highlight, which I feel. Uh, so this arrow folks, perfect. So backend VPC and the uh, network, the on-premise network, good. Now what is this one? Let me just uh, get this one. So you don't need this line. That secondary, that red color one, which I have high uh, crossed, that is not at all required. And if I look into details, basically, this is a VPC network peering between uh, the VPC2 and the back uh, bone VPC. So why this has to have the tunnel? Not at all correct. So if I were to create this architecture with my limited knowledge on networking, I would have basically striked this off. So I would have erased this off is what I would do. Uh, just to give you a little more uh, details on it, right? So if I just basically go to the VPN, so we can create two types of VPN. HA VPN is the best one. Classic is going to be basically not supporting good amount of features. So if you go to the HA VPN, the first part is you are going to create a gateway. And when you mention the gateway, after that, you are going to mention only one VPC. So you're not going to mention uh, two VPCs. So that's the wrong thing in the architecture. So even though it is from an official source, I feel this uh, uh, I feel this uh, sorry. So I feel this is not required. So that's the video which I wanted to share. So look at it, any architecture, see, try to exp whether you will be in a position to explain it. That's an important one. And also see, is there anything wrong in this? Can you enhance it? That is going to definitely increase your architectural knowledge. So which is one of the important skill for a cloud architect. So that's the video which I wanted to share. Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.